Patreon questions, March 30th, 2023. First one, Amandi Nyong'o, 1990, 300SE. Well, Amandi, I'm very excited about your new car. And um, I'm not sure the date you sent your question, but we appreciate the Patreon support. Now, Amandi mentions that he has no or little hot air in his 300SE. And we're gonna talk about three potential root causes for why there's no hot air. The first root cause is known as the blend door flap failure. And so this is a vacuum actuator that lives right above the gas pedal and is attached to the side of the heater case. If this blend door flap is either disconnected or the actuator is leaking, or for some reason, because the vacuum control grid on the passenger side isn't allowing it to receive vacuum, it will not allow hot air to blow through the heater case and out to the driver. So this again is a very common issue. The second issue could be a clogged filter on the mono valve. So if you pull the mono valve out, make sure it's not stuck in the closed position. And if it is, you just move it back and forth to free it up. It's got a little water filter on it. And so it's a good idea to free up this filter and make sure that it doesn't have any debris in it. If the car has sat for years without a coolant service, a blocked mono valve or a stuck mono valve is very common. And of course, the last one is a, it could potentially be a problem with the auxiliary water pump. And the auxiliary water pump in these cars uh, is known sometimes for inhibiting heat, although it is kind of unusual. So it's a good idea to make sure that the pump runs. You can do this by switching on the ignition, turning on the defroster, and then feeling the pump to see if it's running. The pump is located right next to the battery, immediately to the right of the battery, if you're facing the battery, buried down underneath the mono valve. The mono valve, which you can Google and look for images of, is located also right next to the battery, and you don't have to remove the whole valve, Amandi. You can just remove the four screws on the top, take the whole valve out, and clean it off. Um, the last thing I was going to bring up is that it's a good idea sometimes to check for human tampering. So if you have a car, let's say where the heat was always stuck on, somebody might have put a plug in one of the coolant lines. The coolant lines that go to the heater core on the 126 are located in the passenger front quadrant by the water pump. And that's a pipe that goes all the way up alongside the motor to the, um, uh, to the, um, to the, mono valve assembly and then of course there's one on the driver's side rear of the cylinder head and that that hose sometimes if you see it can get blocked as well and then if the cars had no coolant service ever you should also think about flushing out the heater core which is fairly straightforward you just have to undo the two hose ends and run a high pressure water hose through there to make sure you don't have any rust or scale inside the heater core and believe me it does happen Anyway, I hope you found this question, this answer useful. And uh, if anybody else did, please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, we really appreciate our Patreons.